So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are, we are going to solve the problem, job sequencing problem. Okay, so given a set of n jobs where each job I has a deadline and profit associated with it. Each job takes one unit time to complete and only one job can be scheduled at a time. We earn the profit if and only if job is completed by its deadline. The task is to find the number of jobs done and the maximum profit. So let's understand the question. So basically we are given an array and within the array we have a like job deadline profit class which have these three parameters for every index okay and what is our aim our aim is to maximize the profit okay so how can we do this so first understand with an example let's say i have this these four jobs that are available so we have to get the maximized profit and now let's say i create the time slots like zero one two, three, four. Obviously, one, two, three, four can be deadline. Zero cannot be the deadline, obviously. Okay, so now, now let's say I have one, four, 20. One is the job ID. So just remove it because it is of no use actually. Okay, they are just tell, just to tell the job IDs. Okay, now four is the deadline, two is the deadline. Now when four is the deadline, we have the maximum profit is 20. 20 as a profit. Okay, now, we when uh, deadline is two, the profit we earn is ten. When deadline is two, the profit we earn is forty. When deadline is two, the profit we earn is thirty. Okay, so we have to get the maximum profit. So let's say, let's say, uh, let me tell you with a real life example. Let's say I I have eight am. I am currently at eight am. My current time is eight am, and and there is a nine am, and here is a ten am. Okay. So we have physics, chemistry, and maths assignments that we have to submit, okay? And deadline is 10 a.m. And every uh, assignment take one hour, okay? So let's say I submit physics assignment. So physics assignment uh, will take one hour, so I will do from eight to nine, okay? No chemistry assignment. No, I can't do three assignments simultaneously, obviously. So what I will do? I will submit chemistry, I will do chemistry assignment after that, okay? And I submit both assignments. And obviously, I'm not able to submit the math assignment. So what we can see here, that when I submit the chemistry assignment, okay, I can uh, do it in one hour between any of the slots. Similarly, physics assignment, if deadline is 10, obviously, I can submit at 9 a.m. as well. It doesn't matter because deadline is 10, but I can submit before, but not after because it's a deadline. So this is the idea. This is the idea we are going to use here. So let's rub this first. So, so, so let's say I have 10, 40, 30, I earn profit 10, 40, 30. So obviously what I will say for first, I will take maximum profit. So I can do this assignment first. Let's earn the 40 profit first because I want to maximize the profit. Now, now this slot is taken. Now I can't do another assignment in the same slot, another job in the same slot. So I will say this is done. Now let's come to, we have next one hour left in which I can do another task. So let's say I have 30. So I will say, okay, let's take this 30 because I have to take the maximum 14, 30 I've taken. Now 10 assignment, uh, assignment with the 10 profit, obviously I can't do why? Because deadline is two and every job takes one at a time. So I have taken two jobs which give me maximum profit. Now, uh, now 10 is 10 I not able to take. Okay, now let's come to four. Now deadline is four. So I can do what empty slots I have before four. So I have two to three. 3 to 4. So I will say let's take this 1 hour slot 2 to 3 and take this do the 7 in 20. Okay. So what is the profit I earn? 40 plus 30 plus 20 which is equal to 90. So this is the answer. This is the answer. So basically what is the question? Question is to maximize the profit. Also, also I have to uh, do the assignment within the deadline. So how can we approach this? So before jumping onto the approach, just get some intuition that what we are going to do, okay? So let us assume that I am sorting on the basis of profits, okay? Just uh, see that why I am doing, uh, why I am sorting on the basis of profit. So let's say, let's say I have four jobs, like deadline is four and 10. Deadline is four, 20. Profit, deadline is four, 30. Deadline is four, 40. Deadline is four, 50. Deadline is four and profit is 60, okay? So now deadline is four. So I have 
zero, one, two, three, four. So I have first, second, third, four, four empty slots. Okay. So I will do any of them. Now let's say I take this 10. Let's say I take this 20 here because before four I have to do. Okay. So I can do any here. Let's say I take this 30, 10. Let's say I take this 40, 10. Because four is a deadline. So I will say 40 you can do here anywhere. So you can do anywhere. So if I add this, I am getting 70, but it's wrong. Why? Why? Because if I have taken 50 or 60, if I would have taken 50 or 60 first, then obviously I will be going to earn more profit, more profit. So that means, that means we have to, we have to sort on the basis of profit because 60 is greater profit. So I will take it first because we have to maximize the profit. So this is the intuition that why I am sorting on the basis of uh, descending order of the profit. Okay. So let's come to the next part. Let's come to the next part that how we are going to arrange the deadlines and like that. Okay. So just see, I, I will be going to do, uh, do this question in two ways. Okay. So one is the wrong way. Another is the right way. So firstly, I'm going to do the wrong way. So let's see. Let's see. I have the slots. Like similarly, I create the slot 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now I will say we have four deadlines. Let's remove these IDs if they're creating confusion. We have deadline and profit currently. Okay. Now, this is the deadline for. So I will say, okay, let's do it first. Let's do it first. So I will, okay, say zero to one. Do it here. Why to do it late? Just do it early. Okay. Let's earn the 60 profit here. Okay. Now, let's come to two. We have two. So we will earn 40 profit. We will earn 30 profit. But two. Before two, I have only one slot. So I can do any one of them because every one has two deadlines. And I have only one slot left. So I will say, okay, let's do 40 because I want to earn the maximum profit. So answer will be 100. But this is wrong. Why? Why? Let's say I do the question in different. Okay. So let's do this like. What I was doing that uh, for four deadline, I was saying just submit it as early as possible. But no, you have to do reverse. You have to submit the assignment as later as possible. Why? What it will help? Let's say I am again creating the slot 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So if I have to submit the deadline is 4. So I will just submit it here. Get the profit submitted here. So next time when this 2 comes. Next time when this 2 comes. I will say submit it here. Last moment. Submit it at last moment. With greater profit submit at last moment. Now next time when 30 comes. I will say. Is this two deadline slot available? No. Is this slot available before that? Yes. I will say take 30. So with that, you will be able to get 130 profit, but initially you will get 100 profit. Why? Because, because, because I am getting the advantage of the later deadline as we do, as we do submit the assignment in colleges late. So that is the thing that I'm going to use. This is a real life example that I will be going to submit the assignment as later as possible so that lower deadline assignment will be submitted timely. Okay. So this is the intuition. So let's try to dry in the approach. Now, now we have these assignments. So I will sort them on the basis of decreasing profit as I already said. Why? Because obviously I will end up taking, if I do not do this, then I will end up taking uh, smaller profits and the profit will be minimized, not maximized. Second thing. I will be taking the last deadline as we do. Like I will uh, do the last deadline so that I will do the other assignments which have lower deadline timely. Like two deadlines should be done first. Four deadline can be done later. Okay. So this is the intuition. Okay. So now let's try to try run. Like we have 0 at index, 1 at index, 2 at index, 3 at index. We sort this first step is sorting on the basis of what? Profit. And in descending order. As I said, because we want to maximize second thing second thing is we run the loop let's say i take this let's remove this job again because they are of no use actually okay so now we have 60 profit so i will say okay profit will be big was initially zero now it will become 60 obviously and the deadline is four so uh i have deadline one two three four why not zero because at least assignment will take at least one unit time as you already said uh, within this question, they said like, uh, takes one unit time to complete. So I will say, okay, zero deadline, obviously wrong. Now. So at least one unit at one, is, one should be the deadline. Okay. So now 
Now let's say I have four deadlines. So I will say four deadline is done now. I can't do this at three to four actually. So I will say, okay, four deadline is done now and 60 buffer is taken. Now let's come here. Now we have two deadline. So I will say, okay, two deadline and profit is 40. So I will do as latest as possible. Okay, so I will say 60 plus 40 will become 100 and two deadline is again taken. Now let's go to two. Now I will say two deadline and profit is 30. Is two deadline available? No. Okay, let's go back. Is one deadline available? Yes. So I will do assignment here. I will do assignment here. So this will become 130. 100 plus 30, obviously 130. And one deadline is also taken. Now let's come to two. We will say, okay, now two deadline is available. No. One deadline is available. No. So I can't take this job. And the profit we get is 30. So this is the answer. So I'm again repeating. First thing, we are sorting on the basis of descending order profit to maximize the profit. Secondly, we are taking latest deadline so that so that if I take four deadline and if I'm getting smaller deadlines later on, so obviously a smaller deadlines work should be done first because we need to submit uh, them firstly and four deadline work can be done later on. So this is the only the intuition. So this is only the greedy approach that we are going to follow. Okay, so let's try to code up the approach. Now, what we do? Firstly, we sort the array on the basis of their decreasing profit. So I will say I will create a comparator obviously because, because this is a class. Job is a class. This is a structure you can say or a class, anything. So within that, we have profit. So I can't just do it that sort array comma array plus n and greater int. What greater int? To which I will sort. So obviously I have to make the comparator and we have to tell that uh, according to which parameter I have to sort. So static will comparator, job, ampersand, j1. So this is a structure that we follow in comparator. Like uh, we will share the two class, uh, two classes object. Let's say we have two classes. So basically let's have two, two jobs. So how will we compare? We have to say, we have to say that if j1 profit is greater than j2 profit because I want in descending order. So first profit should be greater, obviously. I will return true, else we return false. So in another way, we can write it as return J1 profit should be greater than is equals to greater than J2 profit or greater than is equal to also works fine. Okay. So we will sort. Now we have deadlines. So I will create a deadline array that whenever I take a deadline, I will mark that that this deadline is taken. Okay. So uh, one thing that I want to tell you because they have told 100 deadline, but actually it will not work because there are some test cases which are actually failing. Why? Because Actually, deadline can be one. Uh, I have tested like this one zero zero one. You should take like this, okay? Otherwise, it will not pass your test case, okay? So I think there is a bug. We have to check the test case, okay? So now, so we have count that is number of jobs and we have profit that we are going to one. So obviously, I will do the every. I will go to every job, and what we have job ID is already I already told it's based. So just we have array dot deadline. So one is current deadline and another is current profit. Okay. Array I dot profit. Array I array dot profit. So now I will say uh, till then current deadline is greater than is equal to one. And deadline of current deadline. That means uh, until deadlines are taken, just do current dead minus minus. Like why? Like I was at deadline two. So I will say, it, is it taken? Yes. So just go back. Is it not taken? Stop here. So like this. So we will say, okay, uh, current deadline minus minus. And at the end, I will check if current deadline is greater than is equal to one. If it is, that means deadline is left. If at least it is one also, I will take that deadline. Okay. So I will say, this deadline is taken. Whatever deadline we have, we will take that. I will mark this as true. You can mark this as true also and anything. And I will say this add its profit that I have taken this profit and add then I will do count plus plus also because I have to return the number of jobs. And what we have to return? We have to return the count an array of count that an array that have count that is the number of jobs and another thing profit. Okay. So let's try to compile in the code and check whether it's working fine. Okay, so one thing that I want to tell you, we are sorting the jobs 
on the basis of profit in descending order. Why? So as to maximize the profit. Okay. Now, second thing that I'm going to do, I will going to take later deadline. Latest deadline that is available. Latest deadline available so that uh, uh, smaller deadline work, smaller deadline work should work, uh, should should be done firstly. Okay, so that's the approach. So let's try to submit a code. A code. So yes, it's totally working fine. So I have taken many attempts because this was a bug, like deadline. It was ended. So this was all about code. So if you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.